Today on Zoltan's podcast. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, today on Zoltan's podcast, we are going to be talking about Google blocking YouTube on Amazon devices. How soon Google will be updating their Google Maps so that you know exactly what time you'll be arriving at your destination. And we're also going to be talking about my opinion of YouTube Rewind. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to Zoltan's Podcast. I already mentioned what the sections of today will be, but if you want to hear them again, here they are, because I need to add the subtitles. How does that sound? Good? Like the, you know, the bars. What says the thing, the part of the video? Okay. So first, we are going to be talking about how Google will be blocking YouTube on Amazon devices. We're also going to be talking about how Google Maps will be updated so that you know exactly what time you're going to be arriving at your destination. We're also going to be talking about my opinion of YouTube Rewind. So there you go. Let's get right into the first topic. Okay, so YouTube is going to be blocked on almost... Wait, did it say all? Is going to be blocked on all Amazon devices. How do I feel about this? I honestly do not think that that is a very good idea at all. For me to... That's for me to, to explain. That's for my... That's my opinion, right? Here, Here's why. I know a good couple of people who use YouTube on Amazon devices already. And it's like, really? Okay, so this is the only thing that you can actually do it on, unless you have a computer at home and you don't really have one of those. Okay, fine, I see how it is. And then Google just goes ahead and says, nah. Well, we're not going to let you um, watch YouTube on uh, your device. Sorry. Um, might want to buy a different device. Well, I get it. There's not a lot of Amazon products that have that kind of capability of watching YouTube. But for those who do already watch YouTube on Amazon devices, that could be a huge downgrade for Amazon products, right? I mean, if you have one of those Amazon TVs, wait, what are they called? Wait, what are they called? Um, Amazon products. Amazon. Um, I'm gonna just look this up, cause I I need some refreshments. Yeah, the Amazon Fire TV. The exact. That's what I was thinking of. So here's what's actually going on. Google is hoping to pressure Amazon into selling Google's products by taking away access to the world's most widely watched video service. Unless a truce is reached, YouTube will stop working on Amazon Fire on January 1st. YouTube is supposed to disappear from the Echo Show Tuesday. Although Amazon has previously found ways to make authorized, unauthorized versions of YouTube available on that device. Okay, so that's what I was thinking. Um, that's what I was kind of going for anyways. Um, people who use Amazon devices such as, you know, Amazon Fire. And yeah, that, that's a really bad idea in my, in my opinion. Honestly, it's... That's my opinion. Whoa, I popped you guys pretty bad. That does not sound correct. Ugh. Okay. But I do think that that is a pretty bad idea on Google's part. But who am I, who am I to say? What am I supposed to say, right? Um, it's their choice. They can do whatever they want. I just think it's not a very good idea. That's just my, that's just my opinion, though. What are your guys' opinion? I want to know what you guys think of this um, down in the comment section below. Okay, next topic. 
Google Maps will soon tell you when it's time to get off your train or bus. And, wait, yeah. Yeah. They will tell you when you arrive at your destination. Okay. Okay. Honestly, um, for someone like my father, that is a really, really, really good idea. I think that's an amazing idea. That would be a huge, a huge um, upgrade from what you're already supposed to be doing. I'm, I'm sorry, I got the title. I got the title of that wrong. I thought because I thought well. They, are they upgrading that feature? Whoops. Okay. So they will tell you when to get off your train and such. And uh, Yeah. So that's basically what they'll be doing. Oh, Jesus. That's basically what they'll be doing. Um, which I think is really clever, actually. That's a really, really good idea. That's just my opinion, though. Like I said, my opinions on this podcast. My opinions on this podcast. You understand that? <sighs> okay. Sorry. I had to vent for a second there (laughs) jesus that was one hell of a vent for you guys um but yeah for people who have to take a subway or a train and like a subway to work or they have to take a train for you know alternative purposes um that would be a really good idea i mean it's like, oh, here you go. Um, your train will stop. Your subway will stop. And then you can go on your way. It's amazing. I think that that is a fantastic idea. Seriously. Um, it also has its downsides, though. Because sometimes features on Google Maps can be a little bit confusing. And I think that... If it shouldn't be an option. It shouldn't be an option. You should already have it set. Um, But then again. If you're not using a train. I think. Actually no. What am I saying? It should be an option. But it should be something. For people to find easily. That's what I mean. It should be easy for someone to find. This. Um, option on Google Maps because if you are already kind of lost as to what you're doing and you don't know when to get off your stop and if someone tells you where it is it takes a little bit of time to figure out oh um, this is where I'm gonna stop I'm going to get off at this stop and now I have to find my way. Now you have an alternative for that. If you take the subway to work, right? And you don't know what stop to get off of. I mean, yeah, that could really, really work. That could be a fantastic idea. Being, I mean, being. Um, having been that... It's already kind of hard to figure out what stop you're supposed to get off already. Um, It can be a real pain in the ass. I get it. It can be a real pain. And... Oh, my little brother. What am I supposed to do with him? I love the hell out of him. He's awesome. Um, Eventually, I'll see if I can have him for a video. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Okay, back on topic. <laughs> um, Honestly, I mean, if you're taking the subway to work already and you get lost and you don't, and sometimes you don't remember your stop, like where where you're supposed to get off at that's that's the best alternative man that seems relatively simple 
But yeah, I think that would be perfect. I think that would be an amazing idea. I implore Google to keep that keep that going because that would be super useful for people who have to take the subways. And yeah, that would be one hell of a thing. Okay, so my opinion on YouTube Rewind. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I think YouTube Rewind is actually kind of useless. That is my opinion. Uh, my opinion might change. Uh, heck, I might get so popular on YouTube that maybe I'll be on the next YouTube Rewind. Um, this is an Airwick. I don't even know if you guys could see that, but I was fiddling with a, a Airwick. The thing is going to be helping my room smell nice like it usually does. Okay, so honestly, oh yeah, okay. Um, honestly, I do think that it is a bit of a useless thing. I mean, it is to congratulate a lot of the artists and YouTubers who got so, so far in YouTube, and it just makes then it's more of a feel good thing not more of a here take this as a reward you've done good here take it it's more of like a congrats now go back to what you're doing it's like okay great but what <laughs> like i said my opinion my opinion and honestly that's what i think i mean I don't think I'll ever get involved in YouTube uh, Rewind, but that's just what I think. It could be very much a thing of celebratory uses, uh, cases, sorry, not uses, cases, but that's just, that's, that's, that's what I think. It could be very much um, targeted towards YouTubers who have been past 5 million subscribers, artists who have been doing you this kind of stuff for years and years and who have content on YouTube. But other than that, I mean, it's kind of useless to me. It's useless to smaller YouTubers who are in the... 50 to 1000 subscriber range and up and up up until then it's just like meh whatever it's cool thank you but i mean congratulations to all you very popular youtubers out there but it's kind of useless to me because of the fact that i'm so small and compared to you guys i mean what am i supposed to be doing with my youtube career i mean You you see what I mean? You 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 get it? You you understand, right? Okay. Um, you know what? Let's do something new, and we're gonna go into overtime. Hey everyone, welcome to the overtime. So we're gonna have one more topic. And this is a big one. This is a big topic. And Markiplier covered it on his channel. The fact that the... So, net neutrality in the U.S. That is a problem. That is a huge problem. Okay. For those of you who do not understand what net neutrality is, especially for you in the U.S. who are watching me right now, net neutrality means that the YouTube is free to everyone. Not free as in money, but free as in you're allowed to look up anything that you want and you're allowed to go onto any website that you want that you do not have to pay for. Makes sense. 
So net neutrality, um, the fact is that they will probably that net neutrality is probably going to come to a start. Or is it an end? I don't remember which one it is. But all I know is that if it happens, that means that you guys in the US watching YouTube right now will have to pay for it. You will have to pay for a subscription fee that will cost much more than just internet alone and trust me I advise to you if you are a YouTube watcher and you are a YouTube fan go to this link right here no right here right here right here go to it um, contact your your representative and make sure that this does not happen because I believe that the that the internet should be open to anyone and sure it needs some fixes and there's there's bells and whistles that need there's there's corks and there's problems that need to be fixed but you, the internet should be a free place. And it should be kept that way. Honestly. Okay. So, that was overtime. And that was the... That's the end of the podcast. Um, this was fun. This was real fun. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. For sure. Those are the, those are the few things that you need to do. <sighs> Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this podcast, leave a like, share, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next podcast. Peace.